Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Creating Process. As I was working on the new episode, I come across a new Photoshop trick to create water surface effect. So let me show you how you create this. Open a new Photoshop document and give the dimension around 1200 by 720 pixel, then click OK. So the first thing we need to do is, we need to add a cloud effect. So first of all, unlock this layer. Now go to Filter, Render, Clouds. Next, we'll add Radial Blur. So go to Filter, Blur, Radial Blur. We need to give a wave effect to the water. So let's increase the amount, set the amount around 45 and click OK. So we got a nice smooth ring effect. Next, we'll blur it more. So Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And let's give it around 2.2 pixel. Now we'll add new effect. So go to Filter, Filter Gallery. And here first add Base Relief and do some adjustments. Increase the details and reduce the smoothness. This will increase the details in the water surface. Set it around 4 and click OK. Next we'll add Chrome Filter. So go to Filter, Filter Gallery and select Chrome. So we got to see a nice water effect here. If you adjust the slider, we can increase or decrease the details. Let's set it to 5. If you reduce the smoothness, you can see the crispiness. So we don't need that, we need a smooth surface, then click OK. So here is a nice water surface. Next, we'll add a color tone. To add that, add a new hue and saturation adjustment layer. Take colorize and let's give some bluish tone, like this. Let's increase the saturation value. Next, we'll add one more adjustment layer that is color balance to balance the color. I need to add some greenish tone. So increase the green tone here, increase the blue tone a little bit. Also increase this to add deep color to the water. Adjust all the three color sliders until you get the proper color. And done. Let's increase the saturation value a little bit. Now the next thing is we need to create a scene. You can see we have created the surface. Let's create a new scene using this. So I'll just use the transform tool, command or control T and right click and choose the start option. Now drag down the top two corner points down and expand the lower two points. This will give a perspective look to the image. Create one more duplicate of this image with the all pressed. Place it on the top and rotate it to 180 degree angle. Fill up the top empty space using this image. Next, select both the layer and convert it into smart object. Now we'll add depth of field. So let's apply tilt shift blur. So go to filter. Blur Gallery, Tilt Shift Blur. Using this, we can create depth of field. Bring the center point down, set a dotted line on the top. We'll adjust the range using this. Let's increase the blur value to blur the top region. If you move this, you can see the depth of field is moving. Place it around here and click OK. So we got a nice effect. Next, we'll add an element on the surface of the water. I have got an image of a leaf, let's place it there. Drag and drop it to Photoshop and bring it on the top layer. Now let's remove the surrounding area. I'll use the selection tool. So click and drag to select the leaf area on the image. For detail selection, we'll use lasso tool and with the shift pressed, you can add the selection area. Trace the region and it will be added. Do the same for all the other regions. With the shift pressed, Again, trace the unselected region and it will be selected. To remove the selection area, use the ALT key and trace the region. Once all the tracing is done, apply mask and it will hide out the entire outer region. To edit a dark region, double click on the mask thumbnail. It will open the properties panel. Here click on edge mask and shift the edges inwards around minus 49% and give a feather value around 1.2 pixel. Then click OK. Now the edges are clean and smooth. Now scale up the image and place it here. Now we'll create one more duplicate of the leaf layer. We'll use this layer to edit the reflection. So for the top layer, we'll mask out the lower region. Use circular brush, hide the second layer and apply black color to mask out the region. Next, unhide the second layer and reduce the opacity around 70%. Then we'll add gradient transparency to the reflection layer. So add under mask to the second layer. Then select the gradient tool and choose neutral density gradient color. 
and apply it vertically. This will give us a realistic reflection. Next, we'll adjust the color using the hue and saturation adjustment layer. Activate this small icon to apply it only to the reflection layer. Now adjust the hue slider to give little reddish tone to the reflection. In the same way, add one more hue and saturation adjustment layer for the leaf layer. Give reddish tone to this image also. Now let's create water sparkling effect on the background. So to create that, let's add a new layer. Select the brush tool and open brush attributes panel. Here first, let's increase the spacing. Then activate scattering and shape dynamics. Under scattering, increase the value to 1000% and under shape dynamics, increase the size jitter to 100%. Now using the small brush, let's apply it. Let's increase the spacing a little bit more. Then apply it like this. Reduce the size and draw it on the lower region. Now select the layer and go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Set the layer value around 12 pixels and change the layer mode to overlay. Next, create one more layer, select the brush and let's draw out the circles. Apply it by giving variation in the brush size. Now change the layer mode to overlay and apply Gaussian blur. This time set the blur value around 4.6 pixel. Next create one more new layer and apply a scatter brush. Again change the layer mode to overlay and set the Gaussian blur radius value to 1.9 pixel. So we got a nice sparkling effect in the background. Lastly we'll add brightness and contrast adjustment layer. We'll increase the contrast value and the brightness a little bit. And we got a nice water effect here. This is how we have created surface water effect very easily using Photoshop. The techniques are very simple. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Don't forget to check out the next tutorial coming up. And if you want more updates on designing, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.